This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Seven hundred and fifty fans here. That's got to be a disappointment. BJCC is a big old damn arena. I mean, it could probably seat, I don't know, eighteen thousand. And there is a much smaller venue in Birmingham. You could have went to uh, the Batwell Auditorium, but seven hundred and fifty fans. Would you put that on the local promoter? Is that uh, perhaps competition from the WWF? Did you just not have the right main event? I, I mentioned that because Dusty's on the card, but he's working in the middle. What goes on last is the Rock and Roll Express and Rick Rude and Manny Fernandez. And for whatever reason, only 750 here. That jumps off the page to me. Well, one thing is <clears throat> every single Monday you had Continental, I would think, they were still based in Pensacola, yes. correct? Yeah, they but were, they were running Birmingham, yeah. They were running every single Monday at Boutwell. And that was their home team. Us coming in or the WWF coming in, we were just like, you know, the circus coming by, we blow through occasionally. There was fans that were local to their stories, to to their talent that would, you know, go every single Monday. And so when we got to town, we were kind of like the outsiders. Now, you can use that as an excuse and you can just say, well, they didn't want to see it. Who knows? Uh, but 750 is not a house that you would be that proud of. No. You know, this is a different era, you know, that we're talking about here in the, in the late eighties, 87 to be exact. About 87, is this considered a no, no to travel into another territory like this? Like I know once upon a time, you just didn't do that. And, and now of course, this is a different era. Vince McMahon is challenging the world and most of the territories, Bill Watts and, and world-class they're all kind of on their ass at that point is it viewed as just a two-horse race and the rules are out the window at least in your perspective by 87 i think there would be a behind the door closed door compensation mm. i would think so i would think that you know ron fuller and the ownership of of them would have got some type of uh kickback for for them running in their territory uh, i'd be probably very surprised if there wasn't some consideration hey hey it's conrad thompson thanks for checking out the podcast here on youtube be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now if you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt it's not a matter of if i can save you money it's a matter of how much find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com